Well, welcome everybody to, uh, I think this is the fifth or sixth edition of Picking on Pitt Street. And uh, we're glad that we're able to actually have this tonight. So uh, before I introduce the band, let me do some uh, housekeeping for you guys. Uh, first off, the restrooms are over here to my right, I guess your left, uh, on the other side of the wall. Uh, emergency exits are in the back. You'll see the uh, illuminated exit signs back there. There's actually a big uh, double door here. There's doors here, and then there actually is a door if you turn to the left. So uh, we like to let you guys know that just in case we have anything happen, which never will. But uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, you 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 may want to silence your cell phones or whatever so those don't go off because we are going to be recording. Uh, the performance tonight, uh, actually audio and video. So um, if you do have an opportunity, if you go to the Whirly Gig stage uh, spot on YouTube, there's actually a number of uh, clips out there of bands that have played for Picking on Pitt Street, Highway 58. I think we've got a clip of the Low Tide String Band, a couple of clips of us, uh, some of the other bands. I think I don't know if the Nuclear Twins are out there or not because I don't remember seeing them, but. Uh, but we try to post those things out there to kind of promote picking on Pitt Street. So um, we're going to continue with this. Tonight's going to be a little bit different from what we've done in the past. Um, uh, it's going to be a uh, donation type of a format. So um, as you're listening to music, as you saw, there was a bucket when you came in. And uh, so where we normally charge something at the door, we're not doing that tonight. Uh, so you're free to make whatever donation you would like to for the band. Uh, that's how they're going to earn their keep tonight. So we hope that you'll be generous with that and that you will uh, uh, show them a little bit of love with a little bit of a donation. So um, without further ado, uh, let me introduce to you guys uh, Twisted Knot. And you see we have uh, quite, of, uh, quite a collection of instruments and performers here. And they are the premier Celtic band in eastern North Carolina. So without further ado, and I'll let them introduce themselves as they play tonight, but Twisted Knot. Okay, thanks to all of you for being here. And uh, we're, we're excited to be with you. Our first song is going to be a kind of a familiar tune that's called Scotland the Brave. And it's one of several songs that some consider an unofficial national anthem of Scotland. Hope you enjoy it. Um, our next three tunes are a set of old tunes from Scotland, 
and uh, they're a type of Celtic music called a jig or a dance. And the first song that we're going to do is called Hundred Pipers, and it actually was popular in the mid-1800s, so these are old tunes. Our next tune is probably one of the most famous sea shanties, and these were songs that sailors used to sing on the old, uh, on the old sailing boats when they were having to do really tire, tiresome type of work. And this is called um, Drunken Sailor, and you're welcome to sing along with us if you know it. What shall we do with a drunken sailor lying in the morning? Hooray and up she rises. 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 Her lying in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Her lying in the morning. Hooray and up she rises.
right, we have one more kind of fast song tour. We have a change of pace here and also some more vocals. But our next song is Gary Owen, and it's probably a familiar tune to you. This was originally an old Irish drinking tune, and it was also one of the favorite songs of General George Custer, who was the U.S. Army General in the American Indian Wars. And whenever he would go into battle, he would have his uh, drum and fife corps play this song. And this was actually the song that he played it as he went into Little Bighorn, which was the last battle he was ever in and where he and all of his men were actually killed by the Indians. So this is Gary Owen. <laughs> folk songs tell a story uh, like this next song is about an exciting fishing adventure out to sea uh, when they hang up on a fish that was far bigger than anything they'd ever encountered <laughs>
fish with her tail. Now the her boat capsized and we lost four men, and we never caught that whale. Brave boys, we never caught that whale. Now to lose the whale, our captain said, it grieves my heart full sore. But oh, to lose four gallant men, it grieves me ten times more. Brave boys, it grieves me ten times more. Our next songs are a couple of Irish jigs called Irish Washerwoman and Swallowtail Jig.
sure there's a way to make this thing stay still. But I don't know if uh, any of you have been watching uh, the television series The Outlander, uh, but if you have, you'll recognize this next song as the theme song, Skyboat. so much. Our next couple of songs are again some Irish reels and uh, these also follow a pattern that you often see in Celtic music and that sometimes they will start off slower and get faster and faster so you can kind of watch for that and that's a part of the dance. <laughs>
She's we got always try to out smoking. <laughs> I don't know what the fire code is in here, but anyway. <laughs> uh, this next uh, song is a beautiful song. I know you'll uh, know it, Loch Lomond. Uh, but what you might not know is it was inspired when a Scottish prisoner was executed in England. And the legend has it that just before he was to be put to death, that his wife came to see him for one last time. And this song is about what he said to her as he said goodbye. And don't cry. <laughs> so much. Our next couple of songs are either a Welsh air and a traditional Irish tune, and you'll see a difference in them in terms of the combined melodies in the first one, the Queen's March, and then more of a, a driving rhythm in the second one after the bat battle.
Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce us. Uh, again, we are Twisted Knot, or still we are Twisted Knot. And to stage right, your left, Catherine Walker, who plays the electrified Celtic flute. Um, to her left, uh, Mamie Dixon, our leader, our car, uh, our uh, taskmaster, taskmaster <laughs> and she plays the violin and mandolin. Uh, our lead singer, oh, she's beautiful too, Rebecca Hall. Thank you. Thank You're welcome. Um, probably one of the best guitarists in the land. Uh, Sylvia Bjorkman. Um, I just noodle uh, every once in a while and I back her up singing, My name is Jim Joseph, and we are Twisted Knot. The next song we're going to bring to you is, uh, is um, a song pretty much well known by everyone, Wayfaring Stranger. Just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world below. There's no sickness, no toil, no danger in that bright land to which I go. Going there to see my father, all my loved ones who gone on. going to do is a Shokin Farewell, which was made popular in the uh, Ken, Ken, Burns. Ken Burns movie, The Civil War, and was written by Jay Unger.
Mamie Dixon. Uh, this next song doesn't need an introduction because it may be one of the most beloved songs in, the, in Ireland, um, Old Danny Boy. The pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the roses falling. Tis you, tis you must go and I must buy. sleep in peace until you come to me. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. Thank you. Our next songs are other examples of Irish jigs, Road to the Isles, Marie's Wedding, and Jamie Allen.
we're going to slip a little bit of Christmas here uh, with uh, our first selection, Dona Nobis Pacha.
Angels We Have Heard on High, our next song. is not a slow song, and it would really be uh, made better with your participation. Uh, it requires um, some clapping on your hands, uh, and um, it, it goes something like this. It goes, and it's no, nay, never. Okay. Try that again. So it's no, nay, never. Never, one, two, three, four. No, nay, never, no more, okay? Will I be the wild rover? No, never, no more. That's the chorus. Um, sing as much of it and clap as much of it as you can. I've been the wild rover for many a year And I spent all me money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning with gold and great store And I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no nay, never One, two, three, four No nay, never, no more Will I play the wild rover She answered. 
this next song is by an artist uh, named Lucinda Williams, and I don't know if you're familiar with her music or not, but I would um, highly recommend you uh, look her up on YouTube. She has beautiful music and very, very uh, interesting lyrics. We don't know how Irish they are, but they're very, very interesting lyrics. <laughs> Next set are going to be some more Irish jigs, and I uh, hope you enjoy them.
switch over to a little more Christmas music for you. Tis the season, right? <laughs> Almost. Try to get past Thanksgiving first. <laughs> This next song was written by Dougie McLean. Uh, he was visiting a beach in France with some friends, and he became homesick. And he wrote this song about his beloved country of Caledonia, which is another name for Scotland. And when he back, went back home that night and played it for his friends for the first time, they all got so homesick, they packed it up and went home the next day. <laughs> Somewhere with the wind 
become a stranger It would make me more than sad Caledonia's been everything I've ever had so much. song made famous by the Clancy Brothers, uh, Will You Go, Lassie Go. Oh, 
crystal fountain and on it I will pile all the flowers of the mountain will you go and we'll all go together to pluck wild another Lucinda Williams song that I was referring to earlier, but she's exactly right. That's why we like it. <laughs>
Yay, Greenville. has really been a challenge this evening I apologize <laughs> it's not mine but anyway um, we have two songs here and the first one Shebeg Shemur you may have heard of it's a, it's a pretty famous Irish song and it was thought to be the first initial composition by one of the greatest Irish composers that ever lived O'Carolan he wrote a lot of music and they thought this was his first so we're going to do this song and then we're going to follow it by the first song of Mamie Dixon and it's called Christmas of the, in the Glen. And uh, so we'll be having two initial songs by different composers. And we hope we do them justice. Yeah, we will. <laughs> was the first public playing of Mamie Dixon's creation. As soon as we find it. Of all the money 
so much. Let's hear it one more time for Twisted Knot. Um, I did want to make a, just, just a couple little announcements. Uh, this is part of Picking on Pitt Street, and we're going to keep this tradition going. And uh, so on December 20th, we'll be doing it again right here, and a uh, low tide string band will be performing. And yeah. then we have, uh, we've got January, you've got somebody already booked up, whatever. We'll just have to see what happens with the Whirly Gig thing. But what we're going to do is, uh, if, if anybody's ever been to Nashville, Tennessee, has anybody ever been to Nashville to look at the bars and everything? So you guys know as you walk around the bars and stuff in Nashville that the bands there, which are fabulous bands, uh, just they all work on tips and donations and that kind of thing. So we're going to be doing that for a while until everything gets straightened out with, with with what's happening downtown. So please come out, and that's the format that, that we'll be doing. So December 20th, and then uh, you can go to the Whirly Gig web website, and uh, we may be changing up a little bit after the first of the year as far as which Friday that we're going to have the events on, but we're going to continue the trend going. So uh, be on the lookout. Check out the Whirly Gig stage, and also on YouTube, Jason in the next 
it may take them a while, but in the next couple of weeks, there'll be videos of y'all stuff out there and, and things available for you guys to view. So thanks for coming, and we're going to keep the picking on Pitt Street going, and we'll have fabulous people like them. Maybe we'll get them back again sometime soon. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.